Now on Edsky TV and to all the crew that was waiting for that um, video thing about the Jay-Z and that gotta quickly say R.I.P to Uncle Ali Dunno but yeah we're on the Facebook right now and as you can see I haven't logged in yet so I'm gonna actually go log in now give me one sec Just logging in now to Facebook. It's your boy Edski, it's Edski TV. What we're doing right now is logging into the Facebook. You probably heard me speak on the other section of this. And then what I've had to do is basically zoom in so that we can get it all clear. We're actually into my Facebook page now. And just to show you that we're not chatting pants, I'm going into profile. And hold tight, Rico. Always got them wavy statuses. We got Happy J as well and his grand. We got everyone that comes through on the news feeds, yeah? Some people don't understand how serious these new news feeds are and like how many people actually get to see them. There you go, I've zoomed in on the actual computer so it's much larger so you can see it properly. Yeah, look, see Mr. Branson there with your boy Ski. But yeah, let's get to this Jay Z message right now. I don't even care. If it's him or not, I'm not really bothered, but we're just showing people that we ain't chatting no shit. But yeah, like that's what the name, that's what he goes by, Sean Jay-Z Carter, yeah? Right now, it's Monday. It's 10.37pm in London. And I'm gonna go on to this bit here. Big up everyone that's got a Mac and you know about Macs. Hold tight, uh, Mr. Drastic, yeah? I call him Dr. Drastic. Is operating on the game right now. Look out for him. But yeah, look at this. Monday, 23rd of November, yeah? Let's kick on to the message right now. Look, private message from Jay-Z, yeah? But yeah, let's try and get into back into this message. Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna go into Zoom again so that you can see it. Right. I'm gonna Zoom one more time. Right, let me just straighten this up. Right, there's his ugly picture there. Alright, basically let's start with the first section, yeah? The more you begin to investigate what we think to understand where we came from, what we think we are doing, the more you begin to see that we have been lied to. We've been lied to by every institution. What makes you think for one minute that the religious institution is the only one that's never been touched? Obviously we know it's been touched, Jay. Come on, we're not stupid. You know what I'm saying? We know the truth, innit? But let's just continue, innit? Hold on. Need to scroll down to the next bit. The religious institutions of this world are the bottom of the dirt. The religious institutions of this world are put there by the same people who gave you your government, the corrupt education, who set up your internation, internation banking cartels because our masters don't give a damn about you or your family. All they care about is what they have always cared about and that's controlling the whole damn world. Now let me point something out quickly here yeah, to this person or whoever it is, even if it is him, yeah? Like, look at this section here, yeah? It's the same people who gave your, you your government, yeah? The corrupt education who set up your internation banking cartels, but screw all that, yeah? Look at this bit here, because our masters. Who's your masters? Like, what's that? Because our masters don't give a damn about you or your family all they care about is what they have always cared about and that's controlling the world like you're a smart one fam seriously you're a clever one like you must think there's a lot of people out there that are blind let's go to the next section we have been misled away from the true and divine presence 
in the universe that men have called God Allah. I don't know what God Allah is, but I know what He isn't. And unless and until you are prepared, stuff Allah, you get what I'm saying? And unless and until you are prepared to look at the whole truth, wherever it may go, whoever it may lead to, if you want to look the other way or if you want to play favourites, then somewhere along the line you're going to find out that you're messing with divine justice. Let's move to the next section. The more you educate yourself, the more you understand where things come from. The more obvious things become and you begin to see lies everywhere. You have to know the truth, seek the truth and the truth will set you free. Let's go to this next section here. says okay I've got to tell you the truth when it comes to the BS big time major league BS you have to stand and applaud for the all-time champion of false promises and exaggerated claims religion let's go to this next bit think about it religion has actually convinced people that there's a there's an invisible man stuff Allah living in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of the day and the invisible man has a special list of 10 things which he does not want you to do and if you do any of these 10 things he has a, he has a special place full of fire smoke burning and torture where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever until the end of time but he loves you some coffee he loves you and he needs money he always needs money he's all powerful all perfect all knowing all wise somehow he just can't handle money religion takes in billions of dollars they pay no taxes and they always need a little more now if you used to talk about a good BS story holy SHIT you would be dead like my good friend Tupac here yeah? who do you think you are why do you speak about things that you are not fully educated about you're sincerely Sean Carter yeah but hear the piss take though PS do not write back to me I will not reply to you but do you know what Jay you're gonna see this video yeah and let me just go on to this link here so you know it's not some um, what's it called photo photoshop shit <coughs> yeah see it yeah it says add friend but there's loads of people that I've got in common with this brother so like I don't know but he saw it though yeah that like, I'll go into my inbox again just so you can see that like, it's there look yeah Let's kick into the message yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it to the middle of the screen and then everyone can just pause, do whatever you want. Yeah. Scroll down. That like, this last bit here is madness. You'd be dead like my good friend Tupac. I ain't even gonna say nothing, but big up the people that know the truth about Tupac, yeah? Now like, let's not even go into there. UK music all day. Like, come on, look, something through Facebook, yeah? Before this internet thing, these men weren't hearing us. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, they wasn't actually hearing us. They didn't care about us. Do you get what I'm saying? But there's a few points that was made in this um, email and statement. It's like, you can see how long it is. Look. You get what I'm saying? 